So hey everybody, welcome back to NJ's Gaming Corner and welcome back to Dungeons and Dragons Online. So this is sort of a fairly early um, recording. I figured to get one last uh, video out this uh, this early in the morning. It's 8:12 a.m. where I'm at currently, and as you notice, I had a bit of a race change. I was I was a uh, a Warforged before. I had decided to kind of make my own artificer because the half elves have a have a little bit of a neat little thing that they have. They call it something called dil dilettantes or something. I don't know how to pronounce it, but um, I decided to make my own artificer. So instead of just sticking with the normal the normal runic champion, and uh, I might not know exactly what feats to pick as of yet i'm gonna have to look for probably gonna have to look for a build for a melee artifice or some somewhere along the line but i figured the half elf would be a better idea given excuse me pardon me given that they have the um let's see what's it called feats uh, excuse me they have these dilettante feats and the reason why I chose the Fighter Dilettante feat is, is well, right here. You've trained with the best and your martial skills have improved. You gain proficiency with all martial melee weapons and for item use purposes. You can't as a level 1 fighter in addition to any other classes you possess. This feat is not recommended for characters with actual fighter levels. So, normally on my artif my, um, my Warforged Artificer, I would not have been able to wield this Ember Longsword. So... Due to the dilettante, due to the dilettante that I put onto my character, instead of the barbarian dilettante that comes in um, default by just choosing runic champion, I get martial weapon proficiency and I get a wider range of weapons. I'll still probably have to grab a um, proficiency with. Um, Bastard Sword or a Dwarven War Axe, which I'm still trying to figure that out one of these days. But, for now, um, we are going to do... We are going to... In, we are going to... We're going to be uh, facing the collaborator, Jacoby Drexelhand, from the Hayton Family Tomb. So... We're gonna put an end to his treachery. We're gonna put put the hurting down on these fish people. Okay, let's summon my iron Your defender. Bears fruit. This must be the collaborator stepping yep. in from the dark. There he is. Why? Why are you working for the Sahagan? You again. The Sahagan blame me for your heroics. I'm sick of your tampering. And I'm sick of yours, traitor. Prepare to die. <laughs> eh, why are you working for the Sahagan? I'm no fool. The Sahagan will kill everyone who doesn't convert. It's inedible. I'm just watching out for my hide. So says the biggest fool in Korthos. Your life ends now. Ah, you'll be too busy. Yeah, figured. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me there. Sorry. <clears throat> okay, let's bump up my enchantment weapon. This quest isn't fairly, isn't too too long. Okay, here come more of them. Getting a little bit beat up here. Your stalwart defense gives the Sahagan pause, but you hear more of them gathering outside for a final assault. You notice a small chest hidden behind the bar. Ooh, what's in here? Glaciated half plate of good guard. Uh, I can't use that. I that would require 
heavy armor ma heavy armor proficiency and I don't have heavy armor proficiency. I don't think I'll be able to use heavy armor proficiency either, so I'm kind of pigeonholed into light and medium armors. I could try and get the, the heavy armor feet, I guess, but there are probably more important feats that I could really probably be getting now than this. after that traitorous Jacoby Drexel hand, he must have fled into the cellar. Okay, so off into the cellar after I chug a few potions here. This is the downside of not being a Warforge. You might be able to repair your Iron Defender, but yeah, can't quite repair yourself <laughs> which is obvious okay moving right along Drexel hand isn't here however webbed footprints ah, on the ground betrayed a door. location of a secret the chamber beyond the secret passage that says looks ancient, ancient predating Corthos village hmm doesn't look too ancient to me Ancients like full of dusty cobwebs and all that stuff and unnamed things. Balance four, jump. I think I might use those. As soon as I hit level two, that is. Carrying on. A graze. Not so much for that. They weren't so very good at keeping guard over things, and were they? Pushovers. Hmm. Glaciated Morning Star of Healing. Simple weapon proficiency. 1d8. Damage 2d9. 1 bludgeoning. 1 bludgeoning. Magic. Critical roll. Damage mod. Attack mod. Okay, so let's loot it all. Let's see, what is my d mind doing? 2, 9, 1d8. This does 2, 9. This does 2, yeah, doesn't seem like there's much of a difference there. Alright, let's recoup. Do, do, do. Okay, off we go. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I already, I already cleared that out. Okay. It probably shouldn't take too much longer. I'll probably do a few more quests here in a little... I probably might be able to do a few more quests, maybe. Hand has nowhere left to run. Finish the job. All right, time to f time to finish the traitor. I am prepared for a level up. Yay. Let's see what we got in the chest here. Insulated insulated outfit of acid guard. I could wear that if I wanted to, but I don't know. All right. Let's see what 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 was what does this what does this give me? Armor bonus plus 6. Yeah, I think I'm going to stick with my armor. Hmm. 
Okay. I am gonna run this quest, but I do believe I am going to run it on my own time. Instead of bogging y'all down, um... With watching all over again, watching this all over again. Hmm, scimitar one-handed. Lorne's blade, longsword. Valen's mace. Hmm. Thera's rapier. Malin's great axe. I can't really quite use that. Loren's blade. What does mine do? One eight. One. Oh, well, that's two nine. Hmm. I guess I could grab the mace. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the mace weapon. Your victories have made the village much safer, but only temporarily. It's time to take the fight to the Sahuagin. Out in the wilds of Corthos Island. Yep. Going out into the wilds. First, let's level up first. Biggest store. The Caneth Aqueducts. It's okay. Ursa Jersenvard. Help Ursa Jersenvard shift the tide of battle. Actually, I'm gonna sell something. I'm gonna get rid of this plate armor. No real reason to use that. No real reason to use that either. And I can't really use this, so we'll go ahead and sell these things. Get us some money for it. I am going to keep this Morning Star, however. That I will keep. Okay, so. Advance to the next level as an artificer. Okay, so concentration. I'm going to put a couple points. I'm going to put a point into spellcraft. Put a point into use magic device. Gonna need a point in there. Put another point into spellcraft to boost my um to boost my damage. Open lock. Concentration and disable device. Search. Spellcraft, so that boosts that boosts my damage for my, if I'm not mistaken, my rune arm that I should be getting soon. Spot balance. Got a little few points into balance. Forgot to put any points into repair. Okay. Next. You must select one more spell. Hmm. What would be more beneficial? Enchant armor. Omni spell dust, scrap metal from a forge. Increases the enhancement bonus of your target's currently equipped armor by one. Okay, I can conjure bolts, grease. Inflict light damage. Transmutes the structure of a construct enemy to deal three to eight damage plus an additional one to four every caster level. Hmm. Resistance. Hmm. Shield of Faith, Static Shock. Electrical Discharge strikes one target. Successful Reflex save reduces the damage by half. While on a failed save, the target was must match successful will save or be dazed for a much short period of time or until they take damage. Okay. Curative Admixture. <laughs> Infuse a secure light wound potion with magical energy, hurling it towards your target in arc. The potion explodes in a small AOE that deals 1d8.1 positive energy damage to nearby living allies. Damage to nearby living allies? How would that damage them? Huh. Damage to nearby 
Positive energy and demerit leaving allies and enemy undead. Special material component potion of cure light wounds. This infusion is activated by Artificer's Knowledge Potion. Hmm. Inflict light damage, I guess? That would help me deal with... Huh. Enchant armor, inflict light damage. Well, we're going to be running into some iron defenders of our own soon, so let's grab inflict light damage. Artificer rune arm use. Okay, we got defensive. We got defensive fighting. Uh, defensive fighting, trip, sunder, arcane lore. Got a couple points into some skills, and we got one skill inflict light damage. Finish. And we are now level two. I might be able to use something now. Actually, yeah, wait, nope. So why does it say I can't equip it? It says I can't equip it. Why not? Hmm. Hmm. I think I'm gonna stick with Valen's mace at this point, cause I'm. Okay, so let's see. Need to find then to find a spell to replace. Character. Spontaneous casting. Inscribe scroll. Okay, medium armor versus your rapid reload. Sunder toughness. Trip trap finding. Oh yeah, my spells, what I'm looking for. Oh, what? I have multiple spells that I can... What? I can... Inflict light damage. Okay. Let's go ahead and put that down here on repair. I do believe I can put one more power... You must be at a rest point. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay. So let's go to our rest point then. Okay, here we go. Okay, so add in master's touch and chance the item currently equipped in the target's left and right hand to grant their will to proficiency if the items are simple or martial weapons or shields this enchantment lasts until the target rests hmm resist energy that might be beneficial to people that i'm with and i can always change the spell out if i don't need it so okay i think that's what i'm gonna do so let's see, let's put resist energy here on the search bar. Okay. And then we'll put oh I've already got I already got the things there. Duh. Okay, so I can go ahead and do the main quest to save Hayton. If I wanted to but I don't really it's I've already re been recording for about 19 minutes and that quest is fairly long homunculus adamantine plating Pet gains a plus 8 armor damage, damage reduction to adamantine, gains the ability to bypass adamantine, damage reduction when it attacks. Good dog. Who's a good dog? Your iron defender is. It gains the good alignment. 
Your Iron Defender makes long-term plans and gains the Lawful Alliance. The Lawful. Hunter of Boxes. The very idea of cr idea of crates fills your Iron Defender with murderous rage. Your Iron Defender likes to smash boxes and gains the Chaotic Alignment. Monculus Strategy. Shattering Strike. Sneak Attack Accuracy. I probably could just remove that. And let's see what we could do. Shattering Strike 1. Grant you about the use of the Sunderfeet, allowing it to reduce armor class of enemies. Homunculus Skillful Deception. Sneak Attack. Homunculus Ruthless Deception. Your pet gains a 3 to sneak attack damage. Homunculus Reinforced Armor. That would be helpful. Okay, accept. Okay, so I train my pet. <laughs> Spend action points on enchantments. I have three spent. I think I have one left. Okay, so. Thaumaturgical conduits. So let's go ahead and accept it. Or I could just, or I could save it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna save that. Hmm. I could go straight. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm gonna go ahead and go straight in and do the um, Hayton, the Defiant to save Hayton, and then. Um, I'll do the other quests later because I think after the Hayton quest is when I get my first Runa arm, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, we'll start there. I believe. How about no and I just pulverize you instead? Okay. I'm not mistaken, that quest is over this way. Attack him. this way okay okay now we move on to the quest One of my items has become worn. Huh? So there are rats. Brown rats at that. Great. This is a rest shrine, but I don't think I really need it quite right now. Okay. This should lead to... Well, you know what? I probably should. So I'm about to go in here and tear up Jack. This may take a bit longer than 30 minutes, so my apologies if this episode seems a bit long and drawn out, if I'm not mistaken. The quest here is rather long, if I'm not mistaken, I think. Let me see. A mangled sewer grate leads to an old abandoned Kenneth manufactory. Yeah, duration's a it's a medium medium long quest, so it might not take that long. Maybe we'll see. You enter one of the laboratories where decades ago 
House Caniff first imbued mystical life into automatons. Much later, these, these automatons, automatons. The doorway ahead has been boarded up. The work looks very recent. Oddly, the work looks fairly recent. Oh, that's to disable the trap, I think. Okay, so where's the other one? Is now the question. Oh, hi. So if I can disable this trap here. Success! Yay! Disabled. Now we gotta find a way to stop the poison gas around here. But how? Where's the last lever? Yeah, run st Wait a minute. Oh, spider venom trap. Ah, there it is. There we go. There's the trap. As you twist the second valve closed, the hissing stops. Good. No more poison trap. Though I've been poisoned already, it doesn't really matter. Ugh. Total waste of time. What just happened? Did I get hit by a s another spider venom trap? Yes, I did. Ay, ay, ay. A magical barrier humming with compressed energy resolutely blocks your path. You hope you can find a way to disable it somewhere. One of these days, my my iron defender is gonna look as mean and gnarly as those ones. One of these days. Okay, so here be the rest shrine. Poor old puppy dogs. I'll s Okay. I have a dog. I have a dog that's been having a lot of bad, sh bad scratches lately. Poor little guy. I think he's allergic to almost absolutely everything. Summer himself. Well, I wouldn't say himself, but still, he's allergic to a lot of things. Poor little guy just doesn't get a break. I can't imagine what it's like being scratchy every hour of every day. I know that's entirely not on the topic of. The game I'm playing here, it's just, I can't imagine what that's like, being itchy all the time and nothing relieves it. That'd be maddening. I see jets of some alchemical compound coat these humming cave power crystals in a hard protected lair. You also notice, upon turning the valve, you hear a definite alteration in the pitch of the hiss as the gas struggles the pitch to of the hiss. around your obstruction. Okay. There's that one. I believe there's another valve over 
here. There's another one there, and there should be another one around here somewhere, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, there's two of the two valves here. Hmm, I'm missing one more. But where? Uh, back there? No, apparently not back there. Uh, there? Clearly not. Oh. Oh, here. Durr. Doi. Without the old man, he gets moving the painted power crystals. You can now easily destroy them. The last crystal shatters. The hum of power slowly fades into, into a heavy silence. silence. And now we get to go find out when we get to go meet Lars Hayden. And hopefully don't get him killed, hopefully. Because I have done this on different classes, and I've managed to get Lars killed. Not on purpose, but more like on accident. I just didn't have en I just didn't have enough. This door is locked. Failed usage. Okay. Open lock. Huh? I can't open the lock? Okay, door's locked. Lock doors, chests, and other objects. Okay, so this is a locked door. How is it that I cannot use... Oh. Aha! So I can! Huh, these are all busted. Shocking Kopesh of Diversion. Huh. Hmm. Throwing hammer. Well, it's not too bad. I was expecting a lot more because it was behind a blocked door, but apparently not. What a letdown. What a letdown. Alright, let's go save Hayton. And get my first rune arm. Yeah! Who in the flame are you? Oh no. The Sawagan found me. Suddenly the air shimmers with the devour of magic. The Sahagan so has followed you. Stay alert. The Sahagan are still blocking our escape. Watch for more attacks. Why the world are you swinging at, Amalgam? There's nothing there. Well, there's about to be something here. Fucking scum! Keep coming! I won't die that easily. So hug and get your scent. They won't stop until you're dead. We might actually get through this. Just hold for a little longer. Hug 
Falcon magic is gone. We beat them off. This, this time. time. Aiden looks weary after surviving this latest attack. Perhaps you should talk to him again. There's only one way it can end. If we work together, we can derive the Sohagen from Corthos Island once and for all. Will it never end? Sohagen will keep coming until I'm dead. I've heard talk like that before, but everyone who's stood up to the Sohagen and their pet dragon is dead. What about Kaya? You're going to let her die too? Or maybe the Sohagen will take her alive to the mountain. Don't talk about, talk about her. No, no. This can't happen. I won't let this happen. All right, all right. I'll help you. Been doing research about the dragon, and I've come to a startling conclusion. I've discovered that the dragon is not here of its own free will. It's being, being controlled by a creature most terrible, a mind flayer from the depth of Kyber. But therein lies the key. I have a plan which might turn the tables. I will send Amalgam to meet you at the base of Misery's Peak. When you are ready, talk to him there. Go now. Tell Ursa to hold the barricade just a little longer. Then meet Amalgam at the base of Misery's Peak when you're ready. With Hayton finally persuaded to help, the people of Korthos might finally win their struggle. Anarctic quarterstaff of Halfling Bane. <laughs> okay, that wasn't really all that helpful, but okay. I recall now, yes. A mangled sewer grate leads to an old, old abandoned, abandoned can can of manufactory. manufactory. We'll recall back to Corthos Village, and then I will turn this quest in, and then I will call that the game. Thought spike. Double click on any one item to choose your reward. Well, of course, I'm gonna get thought spike. That'd Your be dumb. Hayton transformed the village. It seems as if all of Corthos were holding out for news of your next great victory with bated breath. Hmm. Huh. Lars Hayton found this damage room arm deep within the abandoned Kenneth Manufactory. Artificers couldn't equip room arms to their offhand and can use them even while wielding a crossbow of any type. Tapping the rune arm key, default alt, will charge the rune arm. Tapping it again will fire. Rune arms scale their damage based on your artificial artificer level. Okay. I'm trying to remember how. Not much, but it's pretty cool. It might not look like nothing fancy. Four shot. Wearing this rune arm will imbue your weapon you wield, dealing one to two points of force damage per hit. This damage scales with 200% melee or ranged power, whichever is higher. Okay. So I need to hit the alt button to charge. So let's see. Is there any way that I can? I can. At the, I wonder what. There must be a different button I can use. Hmm. Options. Let's see. Setting. UI settings. No. Gameplay. Advanced graphics. Key mapping. Yeah, key mapping. Here we go. Attack. Orbit. Attack. Steer. Attack. Interact. Movement, camera, panels, interaction, block attack, left shift, use rune arm, left alt. Hmm. Use rune arm, left alt. This next key press or mouse button 
that you click will be mapped to the use rune arm action. You may combine keys with shift or control to create new mappings. Remapping the mouse wheel or mouse button zero or one are only supported for interaction keys. Okay, so apparently, huh. Escape key to cancel. Left shift block. Okay, I guess left alt, um, I guess left alt is the best thing that I can do, I guess. The next key you press or mouse button that you click will be mapped to the use rune arm action. You may combine keys with shift or control to create new mappings. Remapping the mouse wheel or mouse buttons zero and one are only supported for interaction keys. Okay, so I guess left alt charges up the rune arm. Okay, well, there's that, I guess. A lot be that. Okay, so um, I'm going to call that an end of this episode. My apologies that it was a bit longer than usual. The That particular quest is a rather medium-length quest, and it takes a little bit, so... I hope you enjoyed, I hope you enjoyed, and, um, we're almost to Stormreach. There's a couple more quests here in Corthos Village, outside, out, particularly outside the village, um, but we are getting close to getting to Stormreach. So, stay tuned, and, um, if you're enjoying the content that I, uh, that I'm putting out lately, I pray, I, uh, if you... And if you feel inclined to, please drop a sub and a like on the page. Both of them help me. F both help. And um, um, I will be trying to get down to playing some other games along with this if I can. I still have Steam World Dig. I haven't done. Um, I also recently got a hold of the really old, really, really old Diablo and. Um, I might try to play that. I don't know how well that'll work, but I will certainly try. But, anyways, um, that's it for this. That's it for this for this this episode. Uh, episode. <laughs> what is this? A TV show? <laughs> anyways, um, I hope you have a blessed day and a blessed morning. Uh, this, as it's about almost nine o'clock right now, I really need to go to bed, but. Thanks to lovely insomnia, I am still quite awake. But if it is night where you're at, I pray that you would have a restful sleep and that you would as well have blessed dreams. And um, pray the Lord would keep you through your day, guard you and guide you and direct you. And may his grace and his love be with you through your days. And... I will see you on the next episode, and I will see you then.